What is the optimal sleep time? The optimal amount of sleep varies with age. The need for this is very high in infancy. In infancy, this decreases somewhat, but even so, it takes 10 to 12 hours of sleep. In adolescence and adulthood, this drops to an average of 7 and 8, respectively, but in reality, people spend even less time sleeping. And in old age, it can decrease further. What are the causes of sleep disorders? Many factors influence this. It is important to distinguish between causes of physical and mental origin. A physical cause can be, for example, if someone has a thyroid problem. Hypersomnia can often occur in patients with underactivity, and insomnia is more common in patients with overactivity. In addition, sleep disorders can be a consequence of any other chronic illness of internal medicine, so somatic examination is very important. The first warning sign of mood disorders can be when the quality and quantity of sleep deteriorates. This is often the introductory symptom of depression. This is also important to emphasize because in practice, the real problem is often not recognized. But sleeping pills or other sleep-regulating drugs are prescribed immediately to eliminate the condition. There is currently no suitable medication to restore a healthy sleep cycle. In addition, most sleeping pills have a rebound effect that results in the release of substances from the liver during the day that bounce back and we can fall asleep in the afternoon which can be very dangerous for traffic and work accidents. What are the symptoms of sleep disorders? The three types have different symptoms. Insomnia is the most common sleep disorder. The person has difficulty falling asleep or is unable to sleep for a long time, or wakes up several times during the night. Or wakes up too early in the morning and cannot fall back asleep. This makes an impact during the day. They will be tired, hard to concentrate. In the long run, anorexia is also common. With hypersomnia, one is unable to get up in the morning and sleeps for a long time. Parasomnia is a much rarer phenomenon, in these situations the environment is more likely to notice the symptoms. These can be, waking up several times a night because of nightmares, someone talking in a dream, sleepwalking, or gnashing their teeth. The latter is often revealed during a dental examination in the case of a worn tooth surface with an damaged tooth neck. To what extent do these problems appear in adolescence? 80% of children entering the adolescent have one of the syndromes. This can often be paralleled with some mood problem. There are also cases when improper daily cycle, rhythm results in non-sleep. They are active at night, chat, watch a movie, etc. And go through a dead end, making them unable to fall asleep. It's not necessarily the result of some mood problem, but it completely upsets your daily rhythm. As a result, their academic performance may deteriorate, they may not be able to concentrate. What can be done about it? The very first step is to explore the reasons that have led us so far. If there is a psychiatric or internal medicine cause, it should be treated. If your condition cannot be traced back to such reasons and the difficulty is mostly caused by the disruption of your daily routine and rhythm, then we primarily provide sleep hygiene advice. It is recommended for adolescents to lie down at the same time each day. Their beds are only used for sleeping, not studying or eating there, just relaxing. If they haven't slept themselves enough, they should still get up, not relax in the afternoon, but only in the evening. After days repeated in this way, sooner or later they reach a level of fatigue that they will be able to sleep on time. It's recommend that you don't watch a movie or read a book on a topic that may upset them before you fall asleep. Do not eat three hours before bedtime. If they can't sleep at all, we used to say get up and do something that's extremely boring to them and doesn't upset them at all. We also show them relaxation techniques to help them introduce sleep.